Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Jerry Mathamore. I'll be the project manager for the Health and Biomedical Sciences Center. I want to get down to the point today. I understand we're all on a tight schedule. Uh, the lingering question in your mind right now is why you should hire us at Prestige Worldwide. Well, I'm here to let you know that we understand the, the ideas of the owner. We have a very diverse staff that has come on board that has a very diverse background, both in the owner side and in the general contractor side. Uh, we believe that management is as important as building a building. So we, we try to implement both in the uh, general contracting side of things. The, the methodologies that we've incorporated on the GC side that you don't typically see, we have a costing that we've comprised of a quantity surveyor. He will build a bill of quantities as uh, the design phase progress so we can give you an accurate uh, guaranteed maximum price. Result, we have also brought on board a cost manager that you don't typically see on the general contractor side, but where he's here to mitigate risk and, and do any forecasting that may be necessary. We, we've also uh, employed a construction coordinator that has a very strong programming background because we understand that before we come on board, the architects and the owners have gone through an extensive programming phase. And the unfortunate thing with many general contractors, that gets lost in translation between the owners and the field. And we're here to tell you we're not, we're, we're not going to let that happen. The programming and efforts that you put forth before we come on board it is very important. Um, with, with that said, uh, we understand that, that the guaranteed maximum price has to be well within your grant funded project. This project is it's a university project. We know that it's grant funded. There's money donated, but we still have a very tight budget. And we're not here to come in at a low bid and change order due to death, like you would see on a normal project. So with that said, I want to emphasize some of the issues about cost. And with that, I'm going to turn it over to Jeremy Jensen, our quantity surveyor. Jeremy Jensen with the quantity surveyor for this project. For any of you that don't know what a quantity surveyor does, since it's not very common in the US, it's more of a UK, Europe, Australia type thing. What we do on the front end of a project, we come in during the design phase and do takeoffs as the design is being prepared by the designers and architects, and we generate a bill of quantities. The bill of quantities allows us to uh, account for all materials that will be used on the project during the duration. We'll then have an idea of the cost that will be associated with building the project. This does two things. First of all, it allows us uh, to determine any alternate materials that we might be able to use that would be able to save you money. And it will also give us an idea of whenever we go out for subcontractor bids, that we have apples to apples comparisons with all the subcontractors. We'll give them a copy of the, the bill of quantities, and then whenever they come back to us with our bids, we'll them. everything's good. This will allow us to make sure that we're under our GMP, and it will also mitigate change orders during the construction phase, getting us closer to substantial completion and such things. That being said, I'd like you to hand you over to our cost manager. My name is Omar Martinez. I am the cost manager for this project. I will discuss our approach and implementation of value engineering. Uh, first and foremost, uh, we believe that value should be a reflection of the university's business goals, uh, project objectives, needs, and its desires. Once we establish that, we need to identify the optimum combination of these values to make sure that for this specific project, you deliver the best value to our client. Uh, and lastly, we got to prioritize the value objectives. Uh, one thing that I want to emphasize, I think is very important, uh, we will not compromise scope. Uh, we want to give you guys the best value possible without reduction in scope. Uh, also, something very common, uh, facilities, uh, they normally deal with uh, in a CM at risk project, 
they'll have a contractor come in, and before they break ground, the budget is not maintained. That's huge. So here's how we're going to attack this problem. We have a uh, project definition rating index. It allows us to evaluate what the risks are. Once we have that, we, uh, it allows us to better manage and control costs. If we know advance, if we know in ahead of time the potential holes in the documents, we can better define them. And that will give us an opportunity to better plan. And at the end, when it comes time to sign the TMP, we can guarantee that our price will be lower or equal to yours. And now I'll hand it over to Zach to talk about coordination of this project. Good afternoon, my name is Zachary Asselman. I'm going to be the construction coordinator for this project. My main objective here is to involve the architect owner and the end user groups um, in the planning and construction phases of the project to bring the programming into the field. Uh, we plan to do that by building full-scale mock-ups of spaces that are in the facility so we can have the architect owners and the uh, and user groups, for instance, researchers that is a main part of it, in these mock-up spaces to get their, their input on what can be added or what can be taken away so it can better flow with them and the way they work in the, the space in the area. Uh, this is going to help us in the long run minimize cost order or change orders and as well it's going to minimize cost. We don't have to redo work because it's all planned beforehand instead of doing everything later once we get the owner in the building they say they don't like something and want to plan everything prior to installation. Uh, the second thing I want to touch on is um, substantial completion. We want to reach that as soon as possible so the university can start making a profit on this building by the OR, um, getting patients in there, having surgeries, uh, attracting the main researchers, the, the talented guys in the, in the nation or around the world to this university so we can attract students as well and start making money that way. So that's how we plan to coordinate with the owner and the end user groups in the construction phases and as well the pre-planning phases. And I'm going to pass this on to Eric for a little bit on the schedule. My name is Eric Consum. I will be the lead scheduler on our project. And as a scheduler, it's my job to coordinate between all 360 degrees of perspective we get and integrating with our team at Pure Prestige Worldwide. Um, using a combination of BIM, weekly progress reports, weekly, weekly risk analysis, strict schedules per trade, we'll be able to stay on a very tight schedule and hopefully not slip any. Since this is a inside-out building, very equipment-driven, uh, it is very imperative that we stay on track and on schedule in order to save cost and keep our quality high. Using the schedule, by using the schedule, we're not only going to be managing the project on a daily basis, tracking our progress of construction, but more importantly, using the schedule to manage our project team here so that as a project, as a team, we can, if there's a delay, we can, I can work together between the field, the home office, and everybody involved, and start leveling resources immediately since I do have all documentation weekly and, every, and everything from everybody. So we start leveling the resources and get back on track immediately to save cost and ensure a high quality. All this information uh, is more important than we pass it to the field. So I will pass the, I will coordinate with Chip here, our superintendent, so he can bring our superior management skills here to see for a while to the field. I'm Chip Beachley, and I will be the general superintendent on this project. And as such, it is my duty and responsibility to ensure that the same things that define our company are translated to the field. Safety, quality, and commitment. Safety of any construction project is, paramount, is of utmost importance. And it is my personal goal on every project that I am on to ensure that every individual that walks on my site leaves it in the same condition in which they are. Additionally, quality is a key theme of our company. Although we have set a very aggressive price point and an aggressive schedule for this project, I assure you we will not come at the expense of quality. We are committed to putting out a quality product for the owner. When you are in the day-to-day -day operations of a project like this, you get very hint. These projects become my baby as I'm on set. And oftentimes
sometimes the most difficult thing for me is the day whenever I hand the project off to you. I, uh, I consider it the construction equivalent for walking your daughter down the aisle. Because although you know it's a joyous occasion, at the same time, you know it's not your baby. Additionally, commitment defines prestige for work. As I say, we're committed to working safely. We're committed to doing quality work. But moreover, we're committed to the University of Houston. We want to ensure that the University of Houston is the best project for the money in the time a lot. And we're going to do our best to ensure that we accommodate all needs of the University of Houston. Although these are things that define our company, there's one other theme that defines this project that hasn't been reached, and that's opportunity. This project represents a huge opportunity for prestige worldwide to attach its name to a very complex and unique project such as this. Additionally, this project is an opportunity for prestige worldwide to build a long-lasting relationship with the university. And we hope at the completion of this project, should you select us, that that's not the end of our relationship. And finally, and most importantly, this project represents an opportunity for the University of Houston to cement itself and define itself as a tier one institution. A project as unique and complex as that, as this, it brings a lot of public visibility to the university. Not many non-medical campuses can say that they have both a vivarium and a minor surgical center on the same campus, let alone on the same campus. As a, a group of University of Houston alumni, no one understands that the importance of that goal more than us. That opportunity, the opportunity to advance the University of Houston, is an opportunity that we consider an honor and a privilege. And I hope that when selecting proposals, you think highly of us. We will proceed to apply and thank you for your time.